Welcome to episode six of Vlogmas Friends and welcome to the archives. So it's Monday, it's the start of a brand new week. Mondays are a really big like admin day for me where I plan the week ahead, I check my emails, I just get my head kind of screwed on in terms of like what the week's gonna be giving me, what to expect, what I need to work on, what tasks and projects are of priority. So I spent most of my morning planning and checking emails and doing all that fun stuff and now it's the afternoon and it's time to do some some things and I'm in the vault right now to do some collections related things. Last week I had a pretty bad week and wasn't feeling well. If you saw my vlogmas episodes you know what I was going through. I wasn't at work a lot last week and have some things to catch up on. I also have an appointment around one o'clock. Somebody is dropping off records to get digitized. And yeah, it's just a really good day for me to plan ahead and know what we need to get done this week. So I'm gonna work on some things in here and then probably eat lunch, have my appointment, and check in with you guys in a little bit.
So my appointment came and left me with <laughs> all of this, three large totes of records plus these metal card cabinet things. So this all needs to get digitized in partnership with Ancestry.com and then this is what I had worked on earlier where I showed you guys this was a new acquisition, a closed church that I needed to box up and deal with from last week. So I need to put this in our shelf and then update our shelf listing and that's pretty much done. This I'm going to deal with later this week because this is a large intake process where I need to just check through everything and get it to our Ancestry scanner person. And they also are wondering if I can look through some of this stuff more closely to see if it's worth scanning because we have a specific scope in terms of what we're scanning, just like genealogical information, but they gave me some other stuff that they think is important. So I just need to look through that, make some judgment calls, yada, yada, yada. And that's pretty much it for the day. I'm going to be heading out a little bit early. I usually head out early on Mondays or I generally work from home on Mondays to ease into the week and get my life admin stuff out of the way because Mondays are kind of like the one day George and I can catch up on life things if we don't do it over the weekend because he's off today and I'm leaving work a little bit earlier. I was going to go to Michael's after work today because I if you saw my last episode of Vlogmas, you know the Christmas tree light saga is happening. I just want some Christmas lights, but it's so close to Christmas now that it's they're like sold out everywhere in store. So I might have to order some online if it gets to that point. But I thought I found some on Michael's for picking up today and I placed an order <laughs> to pick it up after work and I got three emails that all of the three different lights that I had bought are out of stock, which I knew that was gonna happen. I'm not surprised. So I'm gonna have to get a refund for all of that. And I also ordered like a picture frame, but I don't even know if I, I'm not gonna go to Michael's to pick that up today. As much as I want to get another set of Christmas lights, I, I'm just gonna have to, to pull through and <laughs> figure out something else. Okay. So yeah, with that said, I'm gonna finish up some bits and bobs here and then I'm gonna head out go home and do some cozy stuff.
I found archival supplies in my pocket. Archivist problems. the next day friends hello I had a slow start to the day yesterday I just felt so off I was tired and just still recovering from the weekend in terms of like my energy levels and like transitioning back into work and I'm glad it was a short and low-key day because my mind just was not there in terms of like work and YouTube and life and other things going on so I'm feeling much more myself. When I got home last night, <laughs> did not want to vlog. I really needed to just rest, fully like rest. So I <sighs> needed that and I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm having a nice little slow morning. I was expecting to have like a very high energy work day today um, because my boss was coming in and we were planning to do things in preparation for uh an object move that is happening next week and my boss texted me this morning saying she's not feeling well and she's not going to come in and that was just like music to my ears because i was like yes <laughs> while it sucks that we weren't going to do what we we're planning to do i'm flexible i can figure out another way and i already have another course of action planned for tomorrow to take care of what we we're going to do today so it's all fine and dandy and i was able to have a slower morning and go in a little bit later today to help me show up fully and I also started editing my vlog to see just where I was at in terms of footage and I think I'm gonna do you'll know by this point I think I'm gonna do like a quiet vlog quiet day in the archives where there's no background music it's just the ambiance um, I've been wanting to do one of these and just never have so if you guys liked this style of video let me know and I will try and do more in the future I also thought about just filming my work days as b-roll and like talking over it or at answering questions that's another idea I've had and or just talking talking about certain topics related to my work or archives so yeah I haven't filmed an archives vlog in a very long time if you've been with me <laughs> for a while you know I had I've experienced burnout this year at work and I'm still processing it and figuring out just what happened this year and how I can make next year better. And as I plan and reflect, as I reflect on the past year and start planning my goals and intentions for next year, I'm definitely going to have work as a main bucket that I'm going to be looking through and analyzing and strategizing so make sure you're subscribed for that <laughs> to see how that plays out and just overall life work things and how it's all intertangled in this little world that is mine one last thing i will say is that this morning i even before my boss texted me i was like okay i'm waking up i know i'm gonna have a busy day i need to have a slow morning routine to have that sense of control over my life and that's something that's really helped me when I know I'm having a busy day to have a set morning routine to wake up just a little bit earlier get out of bed do the things I need to do today it was preparing my lunch not going in without a lunch not relying on takeout or stressing myself out to get food because um, for a while I've been just not wanting to pack a lunch or if I didn't have any leftovers I was just like I'll figure it out later and I don't like operating that way I like having my lunch planned out and it's ready to go I don't have to think about it while I was doing that I had the Christmas ambiance music on the sun was out it was just quiet morning and that is what I love I just like love that so much and I even put it in my journal that I just had this moment of contentness and joy in the present moment in the mundane magic of just making a tuna sandwich packing my lunch and knowing that I'm happy and content with my life I had a lot of that just overall feeling in November when I really focused on self-care and just getting back on track with my life after doing 
a drawing challenge in October and I keep coming back to that feeling. I talked about it in therapy and I'm going to be journaling and reflecting on that more about how I can cultivate more of that into my life in 2024 and I just want to share that with you guys today that there is joy and happiness in what is and I know we all have goals and aspirations. You guys know I'm always striving for something whether it's art youtube whatever but but today i felt like my life is great as is my life is great enough this is good enough where i'm at is good enough even if i never attained whatever other lofty goals i have just having my job having a normal routine having my hobbies on the side having friends having you guys just I just felt a sense of gratitude this morning and I really needed to feel that because yesterday, last night was was a bad mental health day and I was just feeling very low and had a good cry, talked it out with George and my friend Amanda and I think this morning it just all kind of culminated in this sense of gratitude that you know everything is fine everything is going to be fine and i want to share that with you guys in case you need to hear that because there is a lot of there's a lot of sorrow in the world right now and my heart goes out to everyone out there especially in palestine and gaza and just spread a little love and kindness today friends that's that's my my one action step for you even if it's just expressing love to yourself. Give yourself some kindness because when we can be kind to ourselves, we're able to start being kind to others. Okay. With that said, that is the end of episode six of Vlogmas. When I started filming this yesterday, I was just like, ugh, I don't know where this is gonna go. I mean, that's how all these videos are turning out and it feels good that it's ending on this note. It feels complete for me and that makes me happy. So, <sighs> all right, friends, hope you're doing well. Let me know how you're doing in the comments and I will see you in episode seven. It's coming. Bye.